Bronson Reed. The following contest is a hell in a cell match. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia. Weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. The Kaiju. WWE with the accolades to prove it. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. are locked inside Hell in a Cell. This is a nightmare no one can escape. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. A score will be settled tonight. And only one competitor will survive the Devil's Playground. Good God, man! Jeez Louise! Oh, oh stop to the tummy! Tommy catches the kick into a dragon screw leg whip. Boom! Headed up, he's thinking big. Soaring. What a close line. Ouch. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Followed immediately by a big elbow. Byron, is it possible to devise a game plan as a competitor when you're embarking on a journey through hell? Competitors must resign themselves to the fact that doing battle in this torturous structure means their mind, body, and soul. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Oh, Seth flying. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Tossing them aside. in his game plan. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Ooh! Ooh, and a reversal. Uncorks it, uppercut. That gets reversed on Reed. He climbs into the ring. This could be big, going up high. If this lands, it's over. Big splash! Cover! Two count! A kick out to stay alive. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Out of the ring and into hell itself. Taking a big risk here by bringing the table into the action. He returns to the ring. Rollins with an homage to the game. Spectacular. 
spectacular maneuver from Seth Rollins. Adapt and overcome. Oh, and don't forget the freaking Byron. Brain Buster! Rollins might need to adapt a little better after that. Reed's Australian strong style certainly looked effective there. So kick. He turns it around. Got to find a way to get out of this. Right across the lane. Draped upside down in a tree of woe. What a counter by Rollins. Oh, a jumping knee strike. Lights out. And here we go now. Elbow drop. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Oh, that hurt. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh, no. Oh, not to the belly. And Reed is now in a demoralizing spot. Yeah, Seth is really grinding the opposition down. Right across the knee. He'll look oh. locked in. This is painful. He has just completely lost his wind. Not what you want to see by any means. Fails to connect on the springboard. Can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Putting his opponent in a hazardous position. A potential tide-turning moment in from the heavens. Big time splash. A frenzy of attacks from Seth Rollins. Yeah, some flaws in Reed's game plan are being exposed. Rollins knows just what he needs to do to end this. Hit to the gut by Rollins. Up high. Stop. This is troublesome for Reed. The carrier's position for this superstar's opponent. But look at them just pounding away on their opponent's back. And what next? And a backstabber. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. And now Reed is thriving off the audience. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Oh, ooh, saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. Reed is getting picked apart right now. Rollins is set to slay. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. He's heading back to the ring. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. Oh, oh. Had that one scouted. Reed finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Yeah, Reed able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Returning to the ring now. Vicious right forearm. Amazing sequence from Rollins. All of Reed's power is smartly being negated. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Rollins flexing his cat-like agility has his opponent hooked. Inverted superplex, but Seth not finished yet for the reverse DDT. to hell itself. Boom! And Reed is now in a demoralizing spot. And Rollins cannot be stopped. And he busts through the cell. Guys, this is absolutely unbelievable. She 
Jeez. They say the cell brings out the worst in people, but even I didn't see that coming. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Climbing the cell. That rarely ends well. No, it does not. And now with him going for the table, we're just in straight up appetite for destruction territory here. He, they're setting the table on fire. Oh my God. And he goes into the ring. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Goodness. Counters into a brutal cutting blow. The King Slayer is dominating. This is Reed's result being challenged. These men have given everything they have and more at this point. This is a critical moment now to see who can find a way to keep going. Being carried around with ease. Down the wind. And as this match rolls on, Rollins is taking on even more crucial damage. He's going for the pin. This could be it. His arm shot off the mat before one. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. And he's taking this to the outside now. This one is headed outside, guys. And now he's making his way up the side of the cell. Safety clearly isn't a concern for him right now. How can it be in this type of match? Oh, it looks like an act of desperation, a big one. He's on top of the cell now. Why? Why is he on top of the cell? I think we're about to find out, Corey. Everyone in this arena is on their feet. Everyone is holding their breath. How is this going to end? Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. This is beyond dangerous. This is more than reckless. No one should be up there, let alone performing these maneuvers. Right in the face. Uh -huh. Uh -oh. oh, that didn't go as Seth designed. Oh, what a strike to the back. Do you hear the WWE Universe? They are ravenous for these gladiators who are putting life and limb on the line right now. Seth Rollins. Call super kick. Looks like they're looking for a neck. No. Forearm to the base of the skull. We knew what we were in for with this matchup, but we didn't think the hell was going to be let loose above the cell. Well, a clubbing blow to the back. Hooked him up. Ooh. Suplex. We knew this was going to be a vicious match, but these superstars are taking it above anyone's expectations. Proving hell doesn't need to stay in the confines of the cell. Hell can go anywhere. Right slam into a cell con. Absolutely crushing display of power from the big Aussie. What now? Oh, kick right to the gut. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. You can just feel the imminent disaster in the air. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Reversal on top of reversal. There's a forearm to the back of the neck. 25 feet above the ring. This has catastrophe written all over it. This is too much, but I can't look away. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Boom! What a fall. This whole arena is standing watching these maniacs battle it out 25 feet above the ground. Bronson Reed just goading his opponent. He had it scouted. Saying is 
says if you're going through hell, keep going, but I might be about to rethink that in light of what we just... Rollins on the move! Cell match. We're going to be hard pressed to see a better match than that. Here's another look. Here is your winner. A big loss here for Bronson Reed. Well, Rollins certainly seems pleased with himself tonight. Rollins got what he wanted and what he deserved, the win.